Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to download and configure Flutter in our Ubuntu 20.04. Further, we are going to see how to create a project using Flutter. Flutter is a framework that can be used to mo develop mobile applications in cross-platform cross nature. It can be used to create mobile apps for iOS as well as for Android. Let us begin. First of all, we are going to download Flutter. For that, insert the search query install flutter the link you will get is flutter.dev docs get started click on this link it will redirect you to the official flutter page here select linux and click here so that download will begin click on the save i have already downloaded so i won't download it again another thing we need to download is SDK go to dot github dot com slash Linux archives after going here you will see a repository named flutter essentials click on it and then click clone or simply download and clear download zip a file will be downloaded I have downloaded it also, also so I won't download it again so these two things that you need to get download after getting in download it go to downloads first of all we have to extract our flutter archive file to home directory click extract to and click home then click select after clicking select it will get extracted here i have extracted it already as you can see now move to flutter our version linux then flutter and then to bin now open terminal and add the command pwd this will print the current working directory in which we are working copy this path we're gonna need this later now move to home and open your dot bash rc file okay i have done it let me remove it okay if you open your bash rc file it will look like this now you have to append a line at the end export path equal dollar path and add the path that you have copied paste it here okay it's done now in order to reflect the changes uh, before reflecting let me show you if i add the command flutter okay now our bash rc will be regenerated or resourced to more precise now add the command flutter doctor okay flutter doctor shows that we have flutter installed now it's saying android tool chain has not been installed okay what is android tool toolchain android toolchain is sdk components that are required for developing a particular mobile app in android we need various sdk tools and these tools get downloaded by default when you download android studio but we want to configure our flutter tool without android studio so we have downloaded it externally okay let me see ah yeah here it is we'll extract it to home home extract it there okay it's getting extracted it'll take a bit of time till then open terminal you have to create a directory name home android in your home directory for that create right move into that directory and create another directory inside it named sdk done let us check yep it's created now we have to cut all the content within flutter essential master directory and paste it directly to the android sdk done now we have to repeat our previous step open the terminal 
add command pwd copy the whole path open bash rc okay here add a environment variable named android underscore home equal dollar path the path you have copied paste it here done sorry source of bash rc file dot bash rc done okay another step we're gonna do is move to platform tools these are some of the platform tools that we're gonna require so for that open it in terminal again that same copy the path move to home vim bash rc and append a line export path dollar path and the path that you have copied paste it here done we will source that our newly edited file dot bash rc done we'll close this okay there are a lot of terminals done now next step is to create a project within flutter before that let me add the command flutter doctor and let's see what it says okay okay yeah it's saying android tool chain android license status unknown it is showing because we have explicitly installed the sdk tools that is why it's showing we can ignore this now next step is to create the project let me get a directory name projects move to projects here to create a project or start a new project with flutter the command is to flutter create a name of your project i will add demo it will create some default files that are required for app development done now we will move into demo now in order to run this our app or project we need a client device what do you can use a virtual machine i would prefer you can use your android smartphone for that connect your android smartphone to your laptop via usb and enable usb debugging by going into android okay yeah it's done it's connected now we're gonna check it by adding the command adb devices it's showing adb not found actually we're gonna do what move to android then sdk then move to platform tools here adb is present dot slash adb devices yeah it's showing a device now you guys can see my android screen here now the next command that we need to run this app on this android device is to add here flutter run remember that you have to add this command in the demo directory or the directory that is the name of your project or app hit enter it will take some time the gradle will take its time to get built till then i will tell you a fun fact about flutter the previous code name that was given to flutter project was sky it's getting its time it will take up to one to two minutes or between that or depends upon your machine architecture it's getting done once this yeah it's done it, now app is done it's installing the app on the client device that is my android device 
yeah installation is done as you can see the app has been installed and here is the flutter demo home page and if click on this button it gets incremented you get various options like hot reload hot restart these options can be used when you develop app you make small small changes and quickly reload or restart your app only by command line so this is what this is it uh, yeah then now i close it then so this was the tutorial of how to create a basic demo app with flutter on your ubuntu 20.04 thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel so that you can see our future videos thank you